Hey guys, it's your Risa coming to y'all today. I'm trying to do this real quick. My daughter called and said she wanted me to cook her some Jack mackerel. But it's 941. And she gotta be out of here by 10 o'clock. I told her you ain't gonna make it, dog. So, let me do this real quick. I wanna show you guys if you have not already cooked Jack Mackerel, exactly what it is. It comes in a can like this, and you can find it in Dollar Tree, which is where I found these two cans for a dollar because usually it's like a dollar thirty-eight on up anywhere else, two something per can in other places. And I have a rag with bleach on it that I keep wiping my hands. So I have my eye heating up. So I'm going to show you in my bowl. I emptied both cans. And this is what they look like. They look like sardines. Okay. And what you do is you peel them open. And you will see where the bones sit. Now a lot of people don't take the bones out. But I do. Because they're real thin. And they, they dissipate in. I mean for real. Like you can mash them up. And they they soft. Really soft. So you just peel the bone out. Which is what I do. And... You discard it. Um, you know, once you mash it up, you won't feel the bone in it. So, but I just still take the bone out, and I saved an extra one to show you exactly. That's the bone. Just peel it out. Just peel it out. Okay. So what I'm going to add, because my grease is, is heating up. Let me turn this around. So I'm going to hit the handle. I mash them up with a fork. I even use my hand. Some of y'all be grossed out by the hand, but it is what it is. I'm going to add a little bit of salt. Let me turn it down because I got it on high. A little bit of salt about a half a teaspoon and I also use onion real onion but I'm gonna use onion powder because I don't have time to grate it up I love to use the onion powder too and I use about a tablespoon of that and I have some black pepper I can use you know freshly ground or the canned either one okay You want to add some flour and you're also going to add um i'm going to add one egg i got let me see one two i'm gonna do three tablespoons of flour okay One large egg doesn't have to be room temperature okay mix this all up you can also add cayenne pepper which is what I'm gonna do you can add season of salt whatever you like to add I don't do all of that I try to be as simple as I can with the seasonings because I want to taste the fish. Just something. When I add the onion, it reminds me of like hush puppies. You know, hush puppies have onion in it and it just gives it a really good flavor. The egg and the flour are the binder, of course. And you make sure you mix it really, really good. I do this with my hand and get it better like I said make sure you keep your hands washed and it's gonna look like this okay you just take some in your hand you can make a ball or a patty which is what I do just basically pat it out of my the palm of my hand and put it in the grease it only takes a few minutes for it to cook the bigger you make them make sure you mash it down in the middle you want it to get done my 
my daughter is going to take her baby to a doctor's appointment. I said, girl, you getting ready to go to the doctor smelling like fish, for real? That's her. Because you will smell like fish after eating this. So right now, I have about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I can get eight in this pan without overcrowding it. And I hope y'all can hear me. And some of them are still chunky. Which is okay. Get my hands in my water. And we're going to let it sit for a few minutes. So while I have that going, so she can hurry up and get one before she has to be out the door. I think I forgot to get some grits. I have some grits and I can't stand them. My husband bought them very cheap grits. I can't stand them. So I have my pot for my grits. I fill it with halfway with water. Put it on the eye and put about a half a teaspoon of salt in the water. Okay, you don't wanna make it too salty with that small, small size pot. Now, I gotta wait for that to come to a boil. I'm gonna put my lid on it. And as far as the grits are concerned, put my flour up while I make a mess. like I have no grits. Hey Ashley, yes. text your dad and tell him to go get some grits. Is the house phone up there? Mm, mm, mm. Okay. Well, we're going to have to wait on the grits. Let me go on and turn this off right now. Almost done. I'm gonna flip them over. Yeah, I'm, I'm not editing this out. This is real life. Could have sworn I had some grits, but oh well. Okay, I'm 
gonna turn my heat up just a little bit. Hold on. We need some grits. We don't have any. All right, bye. So, plate ready. To get my plate. Put some paper towels down to absorb any excess oil. Down to the last one. Okay. I'll let you see. They are done. Brown on both sides. Only takes a few minutes. I do need to flip again. And that is it, you guys. Making Jack Michael. And I think I'm also going to scramble some eggs, and that's going to be it. I'm not gonna make any toast. Mm -mm, that's not. Mm -mm, mm -mm. So that's it, you guys. Just wanted to come and share with you how I prepare my Jack Mackerel. I know I did a lot of things in this video, but y'all, that's just me. Okay, I don't edit. Mm -mm, no, I don't. So I thank y'all for watching. All my new viewers, new subscribers, new family members. I love y'all to pieces. Happy Thursday, everybody. Thank God for today. It's thankful Thursday, y'all. Bye, Sue.